We use the 12 volt winch in the front to pull the KLR wow. up into the up into the vehicle and tie, uh -huh. tie it down so it becomes my toy hallway. Wow. Uh, this trip just gets better and better. Hey, what is up guys? David here from Overland Nomad. We were recently at the Texas Fall Outdoors Expo 2018 and saw some very cool rigs and products. If you're interested in watching a recap on that event, link in the description. Anyways, I stumbled upon this super awesome offer camper trailer. If you have been following my channel or feed on my Instagram at Overland Nomad, you know I love me some campers. Closer inspection of this camper and yeah, it was definitely so so nice. It had so many cool features such as inside and outside stove to shower to toilet and even an AC. And on top of that, it's built over a military trailer but enough of me ranting, I'll let the owner Randy speak about his awesome camper trailer. Uh, hi, I'm Randy Cassidy. Uh, I'm with uh, DNR Manufacturing. That's my company. We build these trailers. These are a uh, M1101 Humvee chassis that we take and we build an entire RV on top of. Okay. Many of the components in this uh, vehicle are just off-the-shelf RV components. Mm -hmm. We start with the uh, with the trailer itself. Uh -huh. uh, these off a of government web ops, uh, government auction website. Um, we've got a 35-gallon freshwater tank, a 26-gallon gray water tank, and a 15-gallon black water tank. Wow. Inside, we've built an entire wet bath with a with a commode, a shower, a sink with a burner in it, a refrigerator freezer, 61 quart. Over on this side, uh -huh. we've got a fold-up um, bed that comes out at a toy hauler that okay. folds out into a 43-inch wide by six foot six long bed. Then it folds up against the wall. We use the 12-volt winch in the front to pull the KLR up wow. into the up into the vehicle and tie, uh -huh. tie it down, so it becomes my toy hauler. Wow, that is so we've cool! Got all the comforts of home. Uh, everything you would need and nothing that you don't need. We've got a color television, a stereo system, a tank monitoring system, I said 12 volt winch, two meter uh, ham radio, and plenty of storage. Wow, so that, that's this awesome. Is, this, is my, uh, this is my home away from oh. into any RV campground, hook up to standard RV power, 110. City water input, we can fill our 35-gallon uh, fresh water tank from here. Instant on propane driven water heater, so that takes care of the shower mm -hmm. and the sink. Standard RV dump valves. Two propane tanks, dual propane tanks. This one drives the water heater and the uh, stove. The only thing the generator is used for is to run the air conditioner. Gotcha. It's a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. We can get it down to 66 degrees inside that trailer. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 230 amp hour deep cycle solar batteries. And then you've already taken a look over here. This is a little outdoor cooking area mm -hmm. with a canopy. Uh, just, just to keep you in some shade. Cooking area, surface, that all folds up, goes back inside the trailer. Awesome. So if anyone, uh, if anyone's interested, just visit uh, your website. Just visit my website. That's dgt1offgrid.com. Awesome. It details the entire construction process from obtaining the trailer to doing all the welding, to doing mm -hmm. the fabrication, running the panels on the router, and all the way out to the paint that was done. This was done by the gentleman out at the uh, Red River Army Depot. Okay. They do a lot of paint for military trailers, and that's why gotcha. this was done. They, they went out, actually out to the... Um, 
the pond out behind the depot and pulled up all the cattails and weeds and made custom stencils for me. Nice. Yeah. That is really nice. Awesome. Cool. Thank you for the tour. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for camping and off-roading content. Like this video and support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.